I guess very broadly my role is quite strategic. Uh, I help guide uh, our kind of digital direction if you like. So I spend a lot of time um, talking to our business partners like Spotify and iTunes and Google and various other people like that. I think we, you know, it's a big part of our job is to kind of filter a lot of the technology uh, that comes our way, figure out what, what, what can work for us, how, how we make stuff work for us. One is just to have a real kind of native enthusiasm for technology and change and um, getting under the skin of new stuff. Um, and then alongside that, I think not being scared of change. I think the ability to kind of learn a new language metaphorically um, at every twist and every turn is really important. You know, from one day to the next, I could be speaking to people who have a deep knowledge or a deep set of skills that we traditionally don't have in this business, and it's up and it's my job to kind of really try and understand that and learn that sort of language as quickly as possible. A key skill is really just being a people person, and that might sound like a bit of a flippant answer, but regardless of the change we've undergone or the technology that we're using or the business models that are you know transforming our industry i think it's still about people and you still have to be able to get on with people i think the best advice i could give someone willing to we're wishing to start in the music industry is you just have to always love music and i think i've seen a few people along the way not many i have to say who've been a bit distracted from their love of music by just an eagerness to have a career in the business and one of our A&R guys wrote a great blog post which is on our website and it's a re he's really talking to bands um, but I think it could apply to anybody and he wrote a 10 point plan for getting signed and point one was don't worry about getting signed and point 10 was don't worry about getting signed. So I think don't chase the job, chase what it is that you're passionate about and whether that's photography or making music or writing about bands or playing in a, whatever it is, chase that and be passionate about that um, and that's the thing that will always give you cut through amongst the, you know, the sort of sea of people who would love to work in this industry. I think going to Marilyn Manson's house for dinner was quite an experience I would say. Working really closely with artists like Snow Patrol and the Maccabees from day one when, you know, we were there were four guys in the back of a crappy little splitter van to watching them sell out massive big arena shows, I think is, has kind of really been phenomenal. And I've met some phenomenal, fantastic people along the way as well. And actually, probably the biggest thing for me has been that my friends are really people that I've worked with along the way. And I've made some lifelong friends in this business. <laughs>